guys, today I'm coming to you with a new video. I am doing a fashion haul video and um, everybody loves a fashion haul and after my latest fashion haul, which got amazing response from you guys, thank you very much, I decided to do another one. So without further ado, let's get started. Actually, before we get started, I'm just going to address this. I did not dye my hair. I'm just basically challenging my inner Kim Kardashian today with the long sleek hair and the fishnet. Um, yeah, so if you're interested to see what I purchased recently, I would strongly suggest to make yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee because we're going to be here for a while. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. So I guess the first item that I'm going to be talking about today is the um, fishnet top that I'm wearing. This top is from H&M and I purchased this about a few days ago. It is from the divided section and it's just fishnet kind of top. It's a little bit oversized. I got mine in size small because again, being pregnant, you know, you don't really fit into things that well as you used to because you have a big belly. Anyways, um, I am just wearing plain vest top underneath but the top is just this part and this top was 29 euros. I love it. Now, next item I'm gonna be showing you is this oversized sweatshirt. It is kind of in like a dark charcoal color and it is from Zara. I got mine in size size medium because I wanted it to be quite long and especially when you're pregnant you find that the things that are supposed to be kind of like dresses they're not really dresses because your belly takes a lot of room. So I got myself size medium which is perfectly oversized. I rolled up the sleeves and um, it is nice cotton material and as you can see in the camera here it's not entirely black it's kind of like a dark charcoal color. I really, really like it. I like to see, like it's quite long. I like to wear it with over knee boots or I like to wear it with just jeans or leggings, you know, and it's kind of one of those things that you just throw on and you're ready to leave your house. So I really, really like it. I don't remember the prices, but I, I think it was around 20 euros. Now, next item is the shirt dress that everybody was asking me about. Basically, it's a shirt dress from Bershka, it says Warrior on it. This shirt, I think it was on sale as well, it was around 10 or 12 euros. And what I really, really love about it is the fact that this is extremely long. It's really, really long. And as you can see, it has like a kind of like a second fabric underneath, which, no, sorry, it's not a second fabric underneath, it's kind of like a cut out and it has like a bit of fabric added. So this shirt dress really reminds me of what moi style. I have no idea how to pronounce it. I'm just going to enter it, put the name on screen, but it's basically like a French designer house that everybody loves. And they make dresses and they make like kind of hoodie dresses that are over a thousand euros. So for a tenner, this was pretty good deal. I really, really like it. Again, being pregnant, you need things to be long. So this is quite long. It's very, very long. And it kind of like it stops right before my knee. So again, you can wear it as a dress with over knee boots or whatever boots you want or shoes. Or you can wear it with your leggings, with your jeans, with whatever you want. Really, really cool piece to have in the wardrobe. I love the edginess of it. Now, next piece that I've picked up, I actually got it in London, but I know that they have them pretty much everywhere. It's like a kind of nighty dress. It looks like a night dress. It's light kind of dusty pink color and it has a lace at the end as well. I've got my, it's from H&M. I've got mine in size eight and it's quite loose on me to be honest with you in around this area, but I kind of like it kind of oversized. And I really like this dress because I don't necessarily wear it as a top, kind of with nothing underneath. I would pair it with like a kind of heavy knitwear and just have the lace sticking out at the bottom, which I think looks really nice. It's very romantic and quite sexy. So I really, really like this piece. Uh, this one still has a label on and it was 49.99 euros. Now, next piece I'm gonna show you. Unfortunately, it's a tiny bit too small for me with my pregnant belly, but that's okay because at some point in the future, I'm not gonna be pregnant anymore and I will be able to wear it. I actually picked it up a really, really long time ago, but I know they have it still in stock. It's beautiful silver dress from Topshop. Um, I love the criss crisscross back and I love the really, really tiny, tiny straps. I absolutely adore this dress because it's one of those pieces what which you can wear just when you're going out, throw on your leather jacket on top and like a nice pair of boots and you're ready to go for drinks with your mates. Or else you can put 
you know, like even the top that I'm wearing at the moment underneath and you're kind of like more kind of casual or else I would wear this with a black polo neck uh, underneath as well and black over knee boots. This dress was, I think I still have the tag on, yep, I got mine in size UK 8 and again like it's quite tight for me in the belly area but you know, you know, three more months and I won't be pregnant anymore. And this dress was 57 euros, which is quite a lot to be honest with you for a dress like this. But I think it's really worth it because I'm going to wear it a lot as soon as this baby comes out from my belly. Hurry up, thank you very much. Now, next piece that I've picked up is a piece that I got in TK Maxx completely randomly and I really, really like it. It's basically this kind of coat. It's kind of like a neatwear, it's not really, it's not fur coat, but it's kind of like a neatwear coat. And it has like a leather belt that you can tie in the round. And guys, it looks terrible on this hanger right now. But when I put it on, I think it looks really, really cool. Again, bear in mind that, you see, if you're pregnant, wearing fur coats is not a really good idea. Because you basically look like a fat bear. But without, if I want to tie it around my belly, I look okay and I can wear it as a kind of like sweater. What I really like about it is the belt, first of all, and second of all, the fact that it is quite long. And again, I've picked it up from TK Maxx, but it's the, by the brand called Goldie. I think I've heard the name before, but I don't know, I'm not really familiar with it. And um, let me see, this coat was €34.99. I really, really like it. Imagine pairing this with like an edgy t-shirt and like leather pants. That would be, love it. And I have to say that I'm really, really loving H&M this season. Like the other day I went to H&M and I was just like, I've picked up so many things and I was like, I can't afford to be buying all this. I have to put some stuff away, but I really didn't want to. Anyways, next piece that I've picked up in H&M is this super duper Kim Kardashian slash Kanye West super oversized and um, what you call it bomber jacket and you see bomber jackets have been around for such a long time and at this point every single person has one but now we're kind of moving into this style of everything is a way too big for you like super oversized and this jacket as you can see it is huge 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 i really really love wearing it kind of off my shoulders and kind of like you know like i'm wearing the jacket but you know there's absolutely no need for me to be wearing this jacket because i'm not actually really properly wearing it if you know what i mean i'm pretty sure you do i was very much inspired by kim kardashian recently like i'm not even like a big fan of kim kardashian but like hey look at me right <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to the jacket. So the jacket is in size extra small, but effectively, like, m my boyfriend is kind of size la large in men's and it will probably fit him perfectly. But it is super duper oversized. I like this kind of sewing going on and it has the same sewing at the back, which makes it really kind of, like, cool. The jacket was quite expensive, I have to say, but it is kind of good quality jacket and it is a lot of fabric. So it was 79.99 euros and again it's from H&M. Next item that I got is uh, this jumpsuit, I think it's called, it was like full of like hair, I don't know, I think it was on the floor on my carpet. But um, it's this jumpsuit from Boohoo. It's kind of neat wet jumpsuit and it has like a deep v-neck as you can see and you can like put like tie this around here and it has a long neck obviously long neck legs not long legs because it's a jumpsuit you see i have this problem with jumpsuit and playsuit i never really know which one is which but i think jumpsuit is the long legs and then playsuit is the short legs at least that's what it is in my head so i'm gonna call this one jumpsuit anyways it's like a light lightweight kind of neat material and i really like it i think it's really cool it's one of those pieces that you can just like wear with your slip-ons and you know go run errands or you can put like heels on and just go and grab a couple of drinks with your friends pair it with like a leather jacket or whatever you want really 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 like this piece and i still fit in it i think i got mine yeah mine is in size small and again i still fit in it the only thing is that it is not see-through but it is not entirely covering everything so like you know black underwear is advised to be worn underneath this piece now, next piece, and probably the most expensive and the most luxurious piece in this haul that I have to show you is this. 
a beautiful piece. Oh my god, I love, 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 love it. Love it so much. This is like a for, for real fur gilet. Okay, let's do it again. It's a real fur g. I can't say it! It's a real full gilet, I think. That's kind of, that will do. It's a real full gilet and it is from Styles Nature Shop. It comes in, I think, five or seven different colors. I got mine in kind of like, I call it like a dirty blonde kind of, a, kind of color. I really like the neutral color and it's such a nice, amazing, amazing piece. Imagine wearing this with like a leather biker jacket underneath. See, the thing about real fur is that it really keeps you super duper warm in the winter and it also is this, it's, it's just a luxurious piece. Uh, this one is priced around 300 euros if I remember correctly and again all the links are going to be down below if you would like to purchase something similar. I like the fact that like the front is a little bit longer and then the back is a bit shorter. I think it looks really, really nice on. I am UK size 6 to 8 but I wanted it to be slightly bit bigger because I want to wear it on top of my winter coat and I also want to wear it on top of my leather jackets and stuff and I want it to be kind of like, I wouldn't say oversized but more loose than fitted. So yeah, absolutely adore this piece, it's so beautiful. Now next item is also from H&M and it is also kind of on a nudish site and if you watch my previous um, haul video you would know that I am totally obsessed with nude, so my nude obsession still kind of continues. So I got this jumper from H&M and I really, really like it. It's super duper huge. It's huge. It's oversized and it has really long sleeves. So it goes with this kind of complete oversized look. It really reminds me of like, again, Kanye West and you know, him wearing like really big items. So um, I got mine in size extra small, believe me or not, but again, it's huge. And this one is from H&M and it was 69 euros. It is gorgeous quality and it's not entirely beige. I don't, I don't know if the camera really picks it up, picks the color up correctly, but it's kind of like a dirty blonde again, I would call it. I absolutely love it. Imagine wearing it with over knee boots, which I am going to show you a little bit later on in this video when we move on to boots. And also you can wear it with, you know, jeans, ripped jeans, leggings, whatever. So you can treat it as a dress or you can just treat it as a huge oversized jumper. I really, really like the fact that the sleeves are really long and they're kind of baggy as well, if you see. So they kind of fold at the end of your um, hand because they are too long. I think it's a really, really cool look. So, yes. This jumper was $69.99 and it is from H&M. Now, next item is also beige and it is also from H&M. I, re I told you, I, I love H&M this season. It's like right up my street. So anyways, this is kind of a beige oversized kind of Aran style. Um, it's not a jumper, it's a sweater. Um, oh no, cardigan I think it's called. And it has a little zip at the front and I adore it. It keeps me so warm and it's so cozy and it's very much oversized. I picked mine up in size small. I think it was 39 euros. I rolled up my sleeves and I either wear it as a jacket on top of like a t-shirt because it's not that cold outside yet. But I'm also thinking of wearing it on top of the jumper that I showed you a minute ago. I think it's going to look really, really cute. So uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely love it. Okay, another item that I'm about to show you is also on the Nudish site and it is also from H&M. Uh, but it is slightly bit different. So it's this um, kind of soft, pale pink jumper. It is from H&M and it is oversized. Surprise, surprise. Anyways, I picked it up in London uh, when I went to London recently, but I know they have it pretty much everywhere. I, I know it comes in blue as well. Um, it is oversized fit and it's mohair blend. Yeah, um, it is size small that I got and I can't remember, I think it was like 39 euros as well. I rolled up my sleeves and it is, it's not long jumper, it's kind of like a waist length. And to be honest with you, I don't look particularly well in it at the moment with the big pregnant belly. But I'm really thinking like, you know, ripped blue light wash jeans and this jumper on top and like tucked in on the side for when I get rid of my baby. And I mean not get rid as like get rid, but when my baby is gonna vacate the premises basically. So in another words, when I'm not pregnant anymore, it sounded really complicated and really wrong, but you know what I mean. 
So yeah, lovely, lovely jumper, really soft material, and it is kind of like, it feels quite luxurious, to be honest with you, for the price, so I love it. And guys, get ready, because I have another couple of jumpers coming up, and come on, like, it's winter-ish, autumn season, season, so what else would you be buying, like? It's the jumpers! <laughs> so this jumper is in lovely camel colour and it is from Forever 21. I think it was around 20 euros but I'm not entirely sure. It very much reminds me of this acne jumper that um, Kylie Jenner wore last year I think and I really really like the way it looks with like um, leather pants. I rolled up the sleeves because I like that kind of look. Uh, again, the jumper is obviously oversized because I'm very much into oversized stuff this season. And I really, really like the colour. I think this camel colour, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I love it. And um, yeah, so what else am I tell you about this jumper? It's very soft and kind of like pleasant to wear because, you know, sometimes you buy a jumper and it's kind of like... <laughs> this one is very pleasant to wear, I gotta say. Okay, next jumper is not nude but it's still a jumper. So I have this grey laced up jumper which probably every single person on this planet has at this point. This jumper is from Zara, as you can see it's kind of laced up which I really like because I've actually put up a picture on Instagram the other day and I was wearing it kind of off shoulders. I kind of like that look. I think it looks really nice. It is not really long but it is oversized. So yeah, um, it is in size small. I've picked mine up in size small because it is quite wide. And this jumper was 39.95. I guess 39.95 is like an average price for a jumper because they're all like 39.95. Anyways, I really like the color. It's really kind of like a nice grayish color. Love the detail here. And I actually wore mine with um, cut out denim shorts, but obviously you can wear them with just denim or leather pants or skirts and things like that. I can't wear skirts now because nothing fits me because, you know, I'm kind of, you know, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so another jumper in my collection of jumpers. I love my jumpers. Next is another jumper and I think, yes, it's the last jumper in this haul. Yes, we made it to the jumpers at least. It is a grey oversized jumper. Surprise, surprise, you couldn't guess this one. And it is from Zara. I got so many questions about this jumper. Lots of people actually asking me for um, a product code and all this kind of stuff. Again, all the items will be linked down below so you can go and shop straight from the links. This jumper is from Zara. I think this one was $29.99 and I know it comes in a few colors. Again, I'm rolling, rolling up the sleeves because I like that kind of look. And this jumper is quite long and you can wear it as a dress. Because I'm pregnant, which I've mentioned in this video so many times and you're probably sick of hearing this at this point, but because I'm pregnant, it's kind of like the front gets a little bit too short for me. I mean, like it's not too short, but I don't feel entirely comfortable to walk around with just the jumper. So what I intend to do is I intend to like wear a skirt underneath or a, like a maybe like a flowy dress or something. So, you know. So I don't feel uncomfortable. Does that make sense? Probably, I don't know. Anyways, lots of people were asking me about this. It's, it's just huge oversized grey jumper. And I really, really like Zara grey jumpers this season. Like the colour is so nice. It is, yeah. So, last jumper in this haul. Now, next item that I'm going to show you is from H&M. Um, it's kind of... Um, what are, they, what are these called? Like a tracks of bottoms really, but they're not your average tracks of bottoms. Um, they're kind of grey beigey tracksuity bottoms. They have a fake pocket at the back here. I think they're supposed to be high waisted, at least on me, because I'm quite a short person, so they kind of work out as quite kind of high waisted. What I really like about them is the leg. You see the way like it's cut out at the front and then it's kind of a little bit longer at the back, and that really reminds me again of this French brand, which I completely cannot pronounce. But moi or whatever we put the we put the name, guys. I am not. I've never learned French, so um, you know, even English is not my first language. But anyways, yeah, really, really like them. Surprisingly enough, they're super duper comfortable to wear. I got mine in size eight, and they were thirty nine ninety nine. I think these are from H and M. This kind of like a better quality collection or line, or I don't know. 
line um, so yeah they're not the cheapest for a pair of kind of tracksuit bottoms but I don't wear them as tracksuit bottoms really like I would pair them with heels or kind of heel boots or something like that like I wouldn't wear them to the gym you know it's not that kind of piece so anyways these guys they're very nice I like the pockets and I like the way they sit obviously they don't sit right on me because I'm pregnant again. Uh, so what I intend to do with things like that that are stretchy, I intend to roll them uh, like this and wear them underneath my belly. I hate things to go over my belly and I find them super duper uncomfortable so every single pair of bottoms that I have I would always like try to put them underneath my belly. The next item, um, also from H&M, is this skirt. It's kind of a silver metallic skirt and it's ripped, ribbed. Rib, 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 whatever way you pronounce it. Uh, this one was very cheap, I found. It was $14.99. I got it in size extra small. It has a little slit at the front. Where is it? It's here. And I kind of really like wearing it with like an edgy kind of printed t shirt. And yeah, it's kind of like midi length for me, anyways, because I'm short. And there's nothing else that I can tell you about this because it's very stretchy, it's very comfortable. And this is the kind of item that I would wear over my belly, but right underneath my boobs, you know, so it's kind of like comfortable. Yeah. Next item and the item that I've literally picked up yesterday, and I was so delighted, uh, are tracksuit bottoms. I'm, I'm loving tracksuit bottoms. It's really like a big, big trend this season, and it suits me perfect because it is so difficult to find bottoms that fit you when you're pregnant. And you know me, I refuse to wear any type of maternity wear. Like, it's just not working out for me whatsoever. So anyways, I've picked up these trucks of bottoms from Zara. On the camera, they look navy. And yesterday when I put them on, I was like, they are navy. But I'm like, they're not really, it's the kind of strange color because it's not really black, but it's not really navy. Anyways, they have like a white stripe going on and the coolest thing about them is that they have that slit right here and Oh my god, I love these like the way I would wear these I am Planning to wear them with actual top that I'm wearing at the moment and I like to wear them with the heels I think they look so super cool because you're like yes, I'm wearing tracks with bottoms but I'm wearing them with the heels, which make me super, super on trend. And yes, I look like a whale because I'm like six months pregnant. But, you know, just forget about that for a minute. Um, and recently, actually, I saw Kim Kardashian wearing like Adidas, Adidas pants with like a body, um, like a, like a, like a bodysuit kind of thing. And I found it really, really sexy. And I really like the combination of kind of like really sporty, bottoms and really kind of girly and sexy kind of top and this is really what I'm thinking again after my baby is born I am definitely going to be wearing these with like more kind of sexy things you know it's not easy to be sexy when you're pregnant in fact it's actually virtually impossible but mm, it's a different video <laughs> right right next item also from H&M it is this Metallica t-shirt I think this season H&M really is on top of the game when it comes to kind of edgy printed band t-shirt. I think I've picked up about three or four of them already from H&M and this is probably my last one. I'm actually thinking to cut it out, kind of to do like this big slit neck, but I didn't get around it just yet. I haven't actually worn it. But it is this Metallica t-shirt. I kind of, I like the colors. I'm planning to wear it with, as a t-shirt, you can wear it with everything and anything really. I'm actually thinking like um, a good combination would be the t-shirt and that little skirt. I think it's gonna look like really cool. Um, this t-shirt I got in size small. Uh, it fits me perfectly. It's not fitted or anything but it's not really oversized either. It's quite long but it's not like a dress long you know. It's like a, like a longer kind of t-shirt and this one was $14.99. So if you're looking for edgy t-shirt, definitely head to H&M. Oh, and by the way, this is not ladies section in H&M. This is men's section from H&M. And we have reached the last item in this haul. And I'm kind of excited. No, sorry. We have reached the last clothing item in this haul. We still have shoes to go. <laughs> Anyways, so this is an um, Iron Maiden t-shirt dress from H&M men's section. I got it in the biggest possible size, which is size extra large, and it is huge, 
but I am wearing this as a dress and it is one of those things that I kind of like, it's like, you know what, I'm kind of wearing pyjamas, but it's not pyjamas and I'm wearing it, so, you know, get over it. I wore it in London actually and I was stopped in the lift uh, and somebody was like, oh, I really like, I really like, I'm a maiden, I'm a big fan. I was like, yeah, I never ever heard any of this, I probably heard them songs, but I, I don't actually, I'm not familiar with the band, but you know what? It's in fashion now, so I'm just gonna wear it, you know? True fans. Anyways, uh, so, yeah, that's what it is. Quite long, very big, rolled up sleeves, love it. Okay, so let's move on to shoes and boots. So the first pair of boots uh, are these beige boots. I'm gonna zip them up so they look more attractive. And um, these are from Ego Shoes, I think they're called. Uh, I will have links down below as always and I really really like them they are beige and I think they're called knitwear boots but that's not really knitwear fabric you know but anyways um, really cool what I love about them is the fact that they're like wearable and as wearable I mean like the heel is about 8 centimeters or 10 centimeters which for me is the max that I can kind of comfortably do I think they were uh, 39 pounds but I'm not entirely sure um, so yeah, there'll be links down below so you can see the price. Really, really nice boots. Um, I got mine in size 36. They're not massively too big for me. Surprise, surprise. And yeah, lovely, lovely boots. Now, next up are shoes that I have from Stas Luxury Shop. These are the slip-ons with the fur inside. They're uh, very much Gucci inspired. You've probably seen like celebrities wearing them. They're like so comfortable and I really, really like that fur. I think it's a real fur that just goes around the shoe and then there is like a nice soft um, fur inside. And um, I don't remember the price, but it's gonna be linked down below and you know, the usual drill. Um, I think they're really, really cool. They're super comfortable. They go with absolutely everything. And they're the kind of shoes that like, you can wear in the summer and you can wear in the winter. But now it's like perfect weather to wear them. So yeah, really, really cool. Now, next up are these suede heels from Zara. I actually found them completely randomly in Zara. I've been looking for like a nude suede heels for ages and I found them in Zara. I had to actually order them online because, you know, I'm size 35. But I have to say that these are slightly bit too big for me in 35 so I'm using like insoles if I want to wear them also the heel I think it's about maybe six seven maybe eight centimeters so it's not the smallest heel but it's kind of like doable heel unless you're pregnant and you have to wear slip-ons all the time but yeah really nice really nice shoes real suede kind of go with everything so if you're looking for suede shoes or if you're looking for nude shoes I recommend these. Price wise, I think they were either 39 or 49 euros. Maybe 59 euros. I don't know. But they're really sweet. Love them. Now, next up is the pair of boots that I have been looking to get for the past three years. There's a story. I'm try I've tried to be really, really quick with the story. Basically, um, a long time ago, two years, three years ago, I went to Miami. I wasn't planning to go to Miami, but I ended up in Miami. And then I went to Neyman Marcus, and they had a sale on, and I spotted these. Oh my god, they're Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent boots. And I tried them on in my size, but at that point, I was actually meant to be back home. So I've spent like literally all my money before I got to Miami. So I was like broke ass and I had no money left. So I couldn't afford them. And I cried. I cried. I, I did, you know, that's how much I love shoes. I had to cry. Anyways, then I came back home and I was looking to get them in around here. And I couldn't find them in my size, and I found them in some American side, but they were super duper expensive because of the taxes and blah blah blah. Anyways, so I found these in my size on American app that's called Pushmark, which isn't available in Europe, by the way. No matter like what you're gonna try to do, you can't have the app because you're not in America. But I do have a friend, a really good friend, who lives in America, so I said. Girl, I need your help, you need to buy these for me, you need to get them shipped, and then you need to ship them to me. And that's exactly what she did. And dear gosh, I owe her. I owe her so, so much. 
I, I love these shoes. These are like my baby shoes. They're like, uh, they're very tall. They're, they're very, they're very, very tall. But they have a platform as well, so they're not too bad. But they're way too tall for being pregnant. You see, when you're pregnant, stability and balance, mm, not the strongest point. So I don't think I'm going to be wearing these until I'm not pregnant anymore. I obviously wore them around the house a couple of times, so it's like I was feeling them, you know. But um, yeah, I don't think I'd be wearing them out because I'm just like, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Anyways, really like these, they're my dream shoes. I wanted them for three years and now they're finally mine. Yeah, next pair of boots. And the pair of boots that I am so excited about telling you. I am super duper excited because I have spent ages to try to get these boots right. So, these are the booties. So, they're beige, they're full suede, um, and they are extremely, like, never ending story. See this? Look at it again. They are literally never ending boots. And these are from Style Such a Shop, and these are the sample. They literally just arrived today. So when, like, I was filming this video, I had to stop. I had to go to the post office to collect them, and now I have them. And I tried them all, and I was like, love it! I basically wanted a pair of boots, like those Beaumont, very, very tall um, nude boots. And I got them made for Style Such a Shop. We had a lot of problems while we were making them, because first of all, I wanted them to be extremely long. Why? Because I really like the way they kind of, when they like fold on your leg, I really like that kind of, again, oversized boot look, if you know what I mean. And I am a very short person, so to be honest with you, if I wanted to straighten them up, I probably wouldn't be able to do it because my legs aren't that long. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. And another difficulty that I had when I wanted to make these, when I went to the factory to make these, and um, everybody was like, yeah, we can make them, but we make them in 12 centimeter heel. And I was like, girl, I don't want 12 centimeter heel because I want to be able to actually walk in these shoes. I want to be able to wear them. And 12 centimeters is like, holy moly, will I make it or not? So these come in 10 centimeter heel, which is totally doable for me. And they're, they're like a day boot, you know, you can, you can go shopping. Maybe not for like all day shopping. We can go shopping in these and oh, oh. I just love them. I just love, love these boots. And um, the prices and the links will be down below if you wish to purchase. And now guys, we finally made it to the very, very last item in this haul. And it is a pair of boots that I wanted to get for a couple of years now, and I did. So my last item in this exciting haul are a pair of boots. Let me just grab them there for you. So, these are Stuart Weitzman Highland boots. And you probably think I'm crazy here right now because I have exactly the same pair of boots in Stars Nature Shop, which I have been wearing for years. And I went and purchased a pair of boots that's 10 times the price. Um, uh, maybe not 10 times the price, but like at least five, six times the price. And what's the point is your question. Well. You see, I really wanted to have the real suede boot and I really wanted to have this particular style for a really, really long time, but I was like, why would I buy them if I can get them in style such a shop, which I did. But I really kind of decided that this is, it is an investment piece and it is real suede and if I'm bored of them, I can always sell them. It took me forever to actually find them in my size again. Finding size 35 is not an easy scenario, but I've managed to get them in... Selfridges, sorry, I had to look at the back and find the name on the show. So when I was in London, I've picked them up. They're real suede, they're stretchy, and they're exactly the same as the ones in Style Such a Shop, except the ones in Style Such a Shop, even though they look exactly the same, they are made from false suede, whether this is um, a real suede. Another thing that I found is that the heel in this is slightly bit lower than the one in Style Such a Shop. I think Style Such a Shop boots will have about seven centimeters and this looks like maybe five six so that makes these boots perfect pair of boots to walk in when you're pregnant at least once and at least one pair of boots that i can wear while i'm pregnant <laughs> anyways yeah you know i wanted them for 
ages, I bought them, they fit me perfectly and I'm happy, one happy girl. So guys, we finally made it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a happy time and maybe you got some inspiration for your winter wardrobe. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below the usual drill, subscribe to my channel, comment and let me know what you like. You can tell me what you don't like, but I prefer if you tell me what you like. That's kind of more positive. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you in my next video. Bye!